This is sushi grade ahi tuna, and it is gorgeous. Now with the ceviche, the citrus will cook the outside of this, but because the inside will still be rare, I want small pieces, so I'm just gonna cut this into some cubes. Typically in a ceviche, you add avocados, onion, and cilantro. Here's my little tip for avocado. Just cut around the edge, reveal that gorgeous avocado meat, and twist to get out my pit. I actually cut it with the skin on to keep all that flesh holding together, and then I peel each piece. Less chance for breaking more beautiful avocado. flavors, ponzu. Just a couple of scoops on here to add flavor. And really, this doesn't need much time. Already the acids are working on the tuna. I can see that it's changing color a little bit. And I could let it rest for a little while longer in the fridge, but since I'm using such great quality tuna, I'm gonna eat it right away. Ah, check out these colors, so pretty. Yum. I'm just gonna garnish with some black sesame seeds. That color contrast is gorgeous. And of course, the final touch, piece of cilantro. Time to eat. Piece of avocado, piece of tuna, piece of cilantro. Perfect bite. Mm. <laughs> Holy guacamole, this is so delicious. Now this tuna, its flesh is firm, but it's fatty, and that's where the flavor is. Ceviche is not a traditional Japanese dish, but the ponzu really adds those Japanese flavors. 